Oh my god, I learned so much. Pero like, no sé. Oh my god, I'm here, I'm teaching. I'm teaching English abroad and like it's so amazing, but I'm from the United States technically, but my family is from Mexico, so I'm kind of like Mexican-American. I'm not really American, but I'm not really extremely Mexican. I'm like both into one, you know what I mean? Bonjour, je m'appelle Greta, je suis des états unis je suis ici pour travailler et vivre en France. Et je suis, um, je ne sais pas, je suis... Uh Yeah, okay. Hello. I was like fidgeting with my camera. I was trying to figure out what, how. I was trying to figure out how to get the best lighting situation. And now that I have the best lighting situation, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want the best lighting situation, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can see everything. Anyways, hello. Hola, what's up? How's it going? My name is Greta Luna Priego or Greta Luna Priego. My entire family lives in Mexico City. And I'm just here with my mom, my sister, chilling in the United States, you know. First gen. Hey, you know, I was having a day. I was having a day today where I felt really gross. I felt really unmotivated. And I'm currently looking for jobs right now, and I'm stressed. I'm interested in way too many things. I graduated college not too long ago, and I actually spent eight months of my life, eight months, girl, living and working in France, and it was amazing. It was incredible. I learned a lot. I had a great experience, but now, <laughs> and I'm looking for a job. I've been applying to things. I'm interested in too many things and that's my problem because I just am so good at everything. No, I'm kidding. But for the longest time in college, I was pre-med. I was pre-med and I loved it. And this is unrelated really. I mean, not really unrelated, but my mom's a doctor. My mom is a doctor. She like grinded hard in medical school in Mexico and now she's here. She's an inspiration to us all. But like, no sé. I don't know, no sé, no sé qué quiero hacer con mi vida. And it's really frustrating because I just have so many interests. I don't know. Okay, anyways, the point of this video is essentially to kind of, sort of, ish, get ready with me and chat and chat about my life your life you can't really give me a direct response because you're not here with me which is really sad and it's kind of strange how i'm like okay talking to a camera but you know i'm a millennial i guess that's that's what we do right mm. the lotion that i'm using is the clinique id <laughs> it's the one that has like the you can put the serum on the inside and you can pick whatever needs your skin needs you can just like put the serum inside and then you pick the type of moisturizer and bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bum. You can basically make your own freaking concoction. I'm not sponsored, obviously. You know those days when you're at home and you don't want to do your makeup and then sometimes when I don't do my makeup or not even makeup, it's like I don't really get ready. I feel really just just flat you know I feel basically like a coca-cola drink that you bought yesterday at McDonald's on the drive-thru and you forgot it existed and you left in your car and now it's sitting in the heat and then you take a sip of it and it's flat I sometimes wear foundation not really not all the time but when I do wear foundation I use the Clinique even better glow this stuff is actually freaking amazing so it gives you like a glow, obviously it's called even better glow. <laughs> that would be weird, that would be really freaking awkward if it didn't give you a glow. But today I'm actually not wearing foundation. I'm gonna wear some concealer. I was thinking I could try, I was gonna try to make this video uh, Spanglish because I speak Spanglish a lot. Um, if you don't know what Spanglish is, it's Spanish and English combined into one language. Like you go like, okay, quiero ir al mall with my friends. Essentially it's like Spanglish language. Spanglish sentence, Spanglish phrase. I wanted to do a Spanglish video because I see a lot of videos in Spanish, I see a lot of videos in English, but I don't see any videos in Spanglish. So I thought that would be interesting. Should I do it? Should I try it for the rest of this video? Or like, would that not cater to either audience? Because 
what if like someone who only speaks Spanish watches this and someone who only speaks English watches this and then they're like, well, neither of us can watch it now because it's half English, half Spanish. Pero lo voy a intentar, lo voy a intentar. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. My Spanish is a little rusty um, right now because I haven't spoken to my mom pretty much since the morning and when I don't speak Spanish literally for like a couple of hours, it's like my mind goes like But when I actually went abroad in France, my French got so ooh, much better. It got so much better obviously because I was living in the country. But man, oh man, when they tell you that the best way to learn a language is to move to the country, girl, you gotta do that. Really, my language went from like zero to 90, maybe not to 100, but it went from, it wasn't at zero. I would say it was at like a 50. 50 to like, went from 50 to like 90, I would say. So I was really proud of myself, but now that I'm back, obviously, I have not been speaking French because there's not too many people to practice with. And so what I decided to do, which has been kind of like, oh girl, you know when your makeup just looks like it doesn't look good? So basically, what I was saying is that I um, decided that this, when I got back, I was like, you know what, I'm going to stop making excuses because I feel like sometimes when I really want to do something but I'm like scared to or it seems like too much work, I make an excuse, which I feel like is what a lot of people do. A lot of people make excuses for themselves and they're like, no lo quiero hacer porque no sé, estoy media, tengo miedo, no tengo la energía, no tengo los contactos, blah, 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 blah. You just gotta stop making excuses and just try, you know? You just gotta try. So I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna make an excuse and not be like, oh my God, I can't practice French because I'm not in France anymore. You don't have to be in France to practice French, okay? You don't have to be there. So I decided, you know what? I am going to look for a conversation partner because there's a website, it's called Conversation Exchange. And it's not just for French people who are looking to practice French, it's basically any language. You go on there, you make a profile, you say, okay, I want to practice Spanish, I want to practice English, I want to practice Dutch, or whatever you want to practice, you make a profile and basically you can you can um, specify what medium you want to practice. So if you want to do face to face, if you want to do Skype, which is what I want to do because I kind of do want a native speaker, I want someone who is from France to practice with. So I put my preference as Skype, I said, you know what? If you want to practice with me through Skype, I am I'm available. And it's cool because you practice your language and they practice the language they want to practice. So basically, um, most likely since I want to, I'm really bad at explaining myself. Since I want to uh, practice French with a French native speaker, I obviously, I'm, I mean, I'm probably not going to find someone who, you know, is looking to practice their own native language. So they're probably going to want to practice English. English is a very common one. Um, so in return for me practicing my French, they can practice their English, which is pretty cool. And I feel like, you know, I actually did some of those things when I was in France. It was super cool. Oh my God, it is so hot in here. But I uh, decided, you know what? I'm not gonna make an excuse. I really wanna practice because I'm here in France. I really wanna get better. And that's what I did, girl. I went to events. I went to events. I tried to meet up with people. I tried to engage in conversations with people around me. So basically, if I went to a coffee shop, um, I would ask the, the bartender, I'd be like, where are you from? Are you from here? Where, which part of France are you from, girl? And I would say like, oh my God, I'm here, I'm teaching. I'm teaching English abroad and like, it's so amazing, but I'm from the United States technically, but my family is from Mexico. So I'm kind of like Mexican American. I'm not really American, but I'm not really extremely Mexican. I'm like both into one, you know what I mean? I was able to say all that in French and I got really good at it. I got really good at introducing my, myself and saying like, bonjour. If you speak French and you understood what I said, I'm sorry. I, yeah, that, I can say more than that. But I, yeah, I got really good at speaking French and introducing myself. 
and I just, you know, I, I, I learned a lot that way. I learned a lot. I learned a lot of lingo. Oh my god, I learned so much like lingo and slang and casual talk. I learned so many amazing cuss words. I learned so many amazing like text conversation shortening things. And yeah, that's how I learned the most and the best things, the most useful things was through conversations with real people and not just like on like Rosetta Stone, you know? And by the way, I'm actually doing a very extremely, incredibly, extremely, very simple, almost barely there makeup look because I'm, as much as like I do want to kind of like perk myself up and wear makeup and feel like, okay, I can get this done, I can like get my stuff done today, I still don't want to spend hours doing my makeup. Para practicar mi español, llamaba a mi abuelita o con mi mamá. Por ejemplo, no hablo en inglés con mi mamá. A veces ella me responde en inglés porque ella ha vivido aquí por unos 25 no, no más. Son unos 25 años, creo. Oh my god, girl. Pero yo le dije a mi mamá, ok. Ok, mujer. Me tienes que hablar en inglés, por favor. Digo, en español, por favor, porque quiero practicar mi español. No quiero que se me olvide. Y obviamente cuando yo voy a México a ver, mi, a ver a mi familia, a ver a mi familia, este... Hablo en español todo el día y ya cuando he estado, cuando voy a México, mi español se mejora así como bastante porque estoy viviendo en, en México. Entonces, obviamente, mi español se pone mucho mejor después de haber practicado con mi familia por unos días. Después de unos dos días más o menos ya, ya puedo decir lo que yo quiero, pero ahorita, por ejemplo, cuando acabo de hablar en inglés y estoy tratando de, de cambiar en español como que me, da, me cuesta trabajo, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. A lot of people, I have a lot of friends that speak Spanish. A lot of my friends, especially the people that are my generation, it's crazy, man. Like, we are the generation where our parents, our parents are the ones that are directly from wherever our family's from. Like, I have 90% of my Hispanic friends, their parents are from, are not from the United States. They immigrated and they are from the United States. So, like, we are, we are the generation that's like changing things. Basically, I actually saw this thing on Facebook, which I freaking hate Facebook, but when I do get on it, sometimes I see some interesting things. And someone posted uh, this thing, it's like this picture. You know, I don't know if you see like those pictures with text, they're not memes, but they're like relatable things that you can share, I don't know. But basically, there was like this picture with text on it. And someone shared it and it basically said like how crazy it is that like my children will never have to go through the struggle that I went through when I was applying to college, when I was applying to scholarships, when I was writing, when I was doing my, my student financial aid application, all that, that I had no idea what to do. My parents had no idea what to do. And I had to figure it out myself because my parents, I mean, for the most part, my parents, you know, they didn't speak very good English or they didn't really understand what was going on. They didn't know the process. They were new to this. And so I, as a kid, as a high school kid, had to figure this all out by myself. And my parents, or my children, won't have to go through that. Like, I'll be able to help them with essays. I'll be, to, I'll be able to help them with resumes. I'll be able to help them with applying to college. Like, that's crazy. Like, I realized that and that literally, I like, flew off my seat literally flew off, flew off. Voy a decir, honestly, que eso, like having experienced that and having to basically figure all that crap out by myself when I was in high school, like that made me the woman I am today, okay? That made me feel like, you know what? Yeah, I went to college because I wanted to go. I went to college and I graduated because I wanted to do that. And I did that, I did that. The sacrifices that our parents made for us is going to be able to give a better future to our children, which is that's super cool. So now I am looking for a job, going back to my crises, my existential crisis. Ever since I started YouTube, ever since I started being creative and all this, I've kind of like untapped like a creative side of me that I didn't even know existed. Like I didn't know I enjoyed video editing until I did it and I actually love video editing. It's something that is 
some people, a lot of people just don't really enjoy, but I actually really enjoy editing the videos. I enjoy coming up with an idea and seeing it happen in real life and, and, and filming it and seeing it come to life. I think that's insanely amazing that you can have something in your mind and then see it flourish. Obviously that can happen in different ways. You know, you could be an engineer and you can see that happen. You can be an artist and you can create a painting that you had in your head and then it's there and you're like, so I do that with videos and that's been really amazing and I've really enjoyed it and I've learned a lot and I don't know if I want to foster that more professionally and that's essentially what I'm confused about but I also love fashion as you maybe maybe not know I love fashion it's one of my it's been a constant in my life and it's something that I really enjoy doing is creating outfits and and learning about trends and learning about things on the runway people have told me for my entire life, I don't know if they're just being nice, but <laughs> they've told me that, you know, they're like, oh wow, your sense of style is like really cool, it's really dope, you really know how to put things together, uh, things that people wouldn't expect to put together, I don't know, is that, I'm essentially stuck and I'm not sure if I'm going the right direction, but essentially, ooh, guys, my phone fell asleep, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that hurts. No, this doesn't hurt, but it's like uncomfortable. It's like really, really uncomfortable. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so dramatic. Maybe I should go into acting. It's fine if you don't know what you want to do right after college because a lot of people say it's fine if you don't know what you want to do while you're in college, but no one tells you it's fine that you, what you don't. Mm, it's fine if you don't know what you want to do after college, which it is fine. You're still young. After college, you're only like 22 years old, girl. I'm telling myself this because this is something that I've, it's been hard for me to believe and hard for me to kind of understand and realize that I still have time and it's not a race and it's not, I don't know. And I, I guess it's hard for me because I'm such a go, go, go type of person and I love being busy, I just really enjoy it and I feel like, I don't know, I just, I just like being busy. And when I'm not busy, sometimes I start questioning my life. Just, is, I, I feel like that's a thing. I don't know, is that a millennial thing? I blame everything in my life because I'm a millennial. I'm like, oh, I'm late, I'm sorry, it's because I'm a millennial. <laughs> but I'm using the, the Glossier Skin, what is this? You know, cloud paint in blush and puff not bad it's called puff but essentially today i have been looking at different job opportunities i've been trying to apply to things and not give up and just realize that you know what i'm gonna find something and i think i decided that i'm gonna sh my goal is to shadow doctors this summer try to decide you know what is medicine truly for me and i think the best way to figure that out is to shadow people or to put yourself in that environment i feel like that's the best way excuse me that's the best way for a lot of jobs is to just put yourself in that situation and be like you know what would i enjoy doing this every single day of my life would i enjoy working with these kinds of people would i enjoy having these types of responsibilities and you just gotta figure it out. You just gotta put yourself in the situation because you don't wanna go into medical school and have so much debt and then realize that's not what you wanna do. Which I mean, it happens. It happens, it's basically like changing your major. I guess it's a little bit more dramatic than changing your major. But it's like changing your major. Sometimes, you know, it's not your fault. You thought that's what you wanted, but you just don't. But in order to save myself a little bit of time and a little bit of money, a lot of bit of money, I am going to try to put myself back into the medical field, into shadowing, into finding, finding my passion basically. Me entiende, me entiende. Entonces, eso lo que te quiere decir es que si no estás segura, no lo haces. No lo haces directamente, no, no, no te debes de dedicar en una cosa que no estás in que no estás segura. But speaking of languages, wow, this get ready with me is literally all over the place. But speaking of languages, I thought it would be so fun to learn an Asian language. I think it would be really interesting. Um, and I love languages. I literally love languages. They're one of my passions. And I actually consider doing something in terms of languages, but um, yes. So I really love languages. And I was thinking, 
to learn something like Mandarin. My dad actually speaks Mandarin. He speaks Mandarin fluently. And um, yeah, so I think it would be really cool to practice with him and to learn basically a non-romantic language and to do something different because I was thinking, I was like, ooh, it would be fun to learn Italian, but I'm just like, maybe I need to branch out from all of the, um, maybe I need to branch out from all of the romantic languages and do something different, you know what I mean? I don't know, we'll see. But I'm almost done, basically, like, I'm telling you guys, when I do makeup, like, everyday makeup, I literally only do this. This is, I only basically put mascara on, blush, and concealer. And sometimes highlighter, which is the one that I'm using right now is Glossier. This is Glossier Quartz. It's actually really, really beautiful and natural. I really like this one. Can you see it? Pero, yeah, dime en los comentarios si se sienten igual, si tienen los mismos problemas que yo. Porque tengo muchos problemas, mi gente. Tengo muchos problemas. Oh, let me add one more thing. I've really been enjoying this Clarins Lip Oil, Lip Comfort Oil in Honey. It's actually so luxurious. It's so nice. It literally feels like honey. I'm not even kidding. It feels like honey on your lips. It's amazing. And I put it on sometimes when I don't want to wear any actual lipstick. This is basically my makeup look. It's not crazy. It's very natural, almost to the point where it doesn't look like I'm wearing any makeup, but... And actually, I was thinking it would be so fun to do a video completely in French. I feel like that would be a cool challenge. That would be a really cool challenge. I don't know, we'll see. I'll try. I need to, I need to like warm up my my tongue again but if you want if you want you can subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on instagram if you want uh it's just at greta luna priego it's just my entire full name and yeah i'm planning some fun things on instagram and i'm really excited i'm planning like an entirely new type of theme but Inspired by someone very influential. Oh, oh. Les veo muy... Los veo, los veré. Los veré? Los veré. I have so much trouble with tenses. Los veré pronto en mi nuevo video. En mi próximo video. En mi próximo video los veré muy pronto. Los, los voy a ver. Los, voy, los ve. Los voy a ver. Los veré. Te veré. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. Ok, bye. Con los niños tan bonitos se los cantamos así. Despierta, mi bien despierta. Mira que ya amaneció. Y ya los pajaritos cantan. La luna ya se metió. Who grew up with that? <laughs>